get you. Ah. It seems that these final nights have brought us together once again. I see you've begun to embrace the beast within you. I smell the sweetest blood of my brethren upon your very hands. But enough with the pleasantries. Witness the power of my flesh transformed into the vessel of your destruction. Farewell, young Knight. Two.
Yeah, what is it? Huh? Yes, oh yes, caviar and champagne, darling. You know how these things are. Got my invitation right, right here, love. Did I just say I have an invitation? I thought I did. Yeah, I have an invitation. Yes, what is it? She'll be fine after I get a pot of coffee in her. Well, she did pretty much cause the last function to come to a screeching halt. That woman has the self-control of a pubescent chimpanzee. Come on, Maria. We're going home. Invitation. Mm. Please have a wonderful time. Might as well be a costume party. Everyone's smiling, pretending this isn't a pageant put on by the patriarch of this family. Fine. But this is a contest, and I came to win. If you don't even know about the contest, then you really don't have to worry about winning it. The sarcophagus? I thought they closed that place down after they found that missing cheerleader doped up in the back. That was years ago, though, when I was in high school. What? Oh, uh, sure. Sarcophagus. What sarcophagus? Out this room, second room on your left. What? Oh. Nothing to be concerned about. Excuse me. Hey there, Adam Dunsert. I don't think we've met. You are? Maria, pleasure to meet you. What line of work are you in? Myself, I'm an investment banker. Great business, lot of potential. For example, I got the inside track on this company right now. And let me tell you, when this company goes public, everyone's going to wish they had a piece of it. Well, I know somebody at the company, and that's what they call insider trading. I could lose my job for that. Well, it's a biotech firm. You know they're working on growing replacement organs. Really fascinating technology. In a couple of years, I'd bet everyone will be going to them for parts. I figure an investment of $50,000 could be easily tripled in five years. Do you have cash? Credit? We could set it up over the phone right now. You'd really be helping me out a lot and making a tidy profit to boot. You take risks in this game. Sometimes you make a million, sometimes you lose a million. The economy changes. It's had problems lately, but it's bound to rock it back any week now. I won't lie to you. I've had a couple of busts here and there, had a few losses, it happens. But this company, this is the big score right here. Anything you wanted to invest, 50, 30, 15 grand, whatever, it's high yield, low risk. Well, the business, it's... Okay, all right. You change your mind, you let me know. Sarcophagus? I might have heard something. Isn't that a nanotech firm? Mira Giovanni. They gather us up here to decide just who's the best and brightest of this generation is. The lucky few are given the real power in this family. But some of us need to win more than others. Oh, forget it. You wouldn't understand. 
Forget it. I've said too much already. Actually, I'll spare no expense for a lock. I want to be in that circle of power, and I won't let blood get in the way. And of course, when your time comes, I'll pay back the favor. Uncle Bruno. Since I was a kid, he's been the patriarch of this family, except he hasn't aged a day. I met with a senator from Massachusetts who asked me if I was related to Bruno Giovanni. Said Uncle Bruno helped him with his first campaign back in 1950. We've all heard the rumors. The core of our family, they never age. They're secretive. Whispers of blood magic and a kiss. Whatever it is, they pick the very best of us for it. I do anything to be picked. I've made some errors in judgment, but I've lobbied hard for this family's interests. What? Forget it. I'm not saying anything about that. Oh, hello. Given that opportunity, some thought? Well, it's a biotech. You take... Okay. Nothing to be concerned about. Excuse me. What? Uh, you know, Uncle? I'm sorry, I've got a lot on my mind lately. If you'll excuse me. Oh, hello. Yes? Oh. Sorry, you can't come in here right now. Why? It bears a great resemblance to an artifact that the convenient spirits of an entire kingdom wiped out during the time of the fair. I don't think we've met before. Nadia Milliner, it's a pleasure to meet you, Maria. Are you from the Chicago Rosalinis? Oh, you must give my regards to Great Aunt Frances when you get back. I stayed with her last time I was out that way. She was very sweet to me. I'm working on my master's out here. I'm from back east. The Giovannis have been nice enough to let me stay here while I finish up my studies. I've learned a great deal from them, like you wouldn't believe. I, um, I really can't say much about that. I oh, forget about it, really. It's nothing. Okay, I'll show you something, but you can't tell anyone. Promise? Follow me. Come on. Not now.
Kindred, your presence here violates the agreement between our leaders. Leave now, or face the consequences of your actions. There is an alliance between your leader Lacroix and Mistress Ming Zhao. You violate the agreement. If you do not leave, we are not responsible for your death.
My wunderkind returns. In my entire court, I knew there was only one who could have succeeded in this task. Finally, the Ancoran sarcophagus is ours. Come, I've granted Beckett's request to study and document all the markings of the sarcophagus. You've met Beckett, haven't you? Let's go take a look inside and see what the commotion around the city has really been all about. What have you assessed so far? Unfortunately for the Heralds of Doom, it appears we won't be opening Pandora's box. The markings, as far as I can tell, are of Assyrian origin. An extraordinary piece, but nothing earth-shattering. I see. Then there is no good reason why we shouldn't open it. <clears throat> oh, budge. Beckett. Do you see any mechanism for the lid? I haven't as yet had a chance to pour over it with my fine-tooth comb. I think I have one in my bag. <clears throat> Why won't it... Why won't it open, Beckett? And you? I thought you said it looked as if it had been opened on the Dane. I want it open! You! You and Beckett, figure out a way to open it. I need to know what's inside. I have other matters to attend to. Come get me when a solution has been found. Ah, the depths to which I'll sink to prove others wrong. The young ones get so temperamental. Fortunately for Sebastian, is it? I'd already made up my mind to open the sarcophagus, if only to show the city that Gehenna, contrary to popular belief, has not begun. Put your ear to it. I'll shake it, and you tell me what you think's inside. Hmm. Fortunately for us, I know of someone who has distinguished himself in this field. His name is Dr. Anders Johansson, a professor of archaeology from Norway. He was the one responsible for finding the sarcophagus, and as far as I know, the only authority on its origin and design. Until yesterday, he could have been found in his suite at the Empire Hotel downtown. But when I stopped by earlier this evening, all I found was spilt coffee on a morning paper. Appears he's been abducted. I detected the scent of myrrh incense, which is usually burned in monasteries. Also, I found beach sand in part of a muddy footprint. Putting two and two together, I located a monastery near a beach in Malibu, where I believe hunters are holding Johansson captive. Actually, there were two hunters on the roof of the building opposite the hotel who were positively delighted to tell me everything they knew, provided I stopped dangling them headfirst over the side. The hunters abducted Dr. Johansson for his own protection, or at least that's how they've justified it. He's being held by the Society of Leopold and used quite ingeniously as bait for Prince LaCroix's minions. Sebastian mentioned you ran into one of the hunters from the Society of Leopold some time ago. They're so secret a church organization, I don't even think they know if they exist. But essentially, they're murderers for Christ, or some such deity. Hmm. It's easy to assume proficiency in something you've never done, isn't it? Be that as it may, these hunters are leagues above the security guard turned vampire killer you might have encountered thus far. You'll have to go to the monastery and find a way into the tunnels beneath where the hunters are holding Johansson. I'm afraid I can't accompany you, but then it's best you go alone. Too many of us might set them off, like fundamentalists on contrary opinion. I'd recommend no other course of action to the foolhardy. I wouldn't recommend walking. Certainly Sebastian's already provided cab fare. 
I'm sure he always spares no expense when archaeology is at stake. Excellent. The society, for the most part, knows very little about us. But they do know how to kill and torture us, and that's enough. Also, some of them exhibit powers that can make them quite formidable. Best not to announce yourself. How any sane kindred could think these poor unfortunates are an immediate threat to us is absurd. Most were afraid, or at the very least uneasy, around me. Tragic. Their desperation could very well hold the spark of revolution, however. Well, if we open it up and the world ends, then yes. If we open it up and the world does not end, then no. I'd wager the latter. Hmm. I've said quite a lot about myself already. I know even less about you than you do me. Why don't you tell me about yourself? I know of one. It's called a werewolf. Unless you've got further questions, I'd really like to get back to looking at the sarcophagus. Excellent. Remember, Dr. Johansson is an innocent. He has no idea we actually exist. Try not to put the idea in his head. Yes. The Voce del Morte. The Giovanni never willingly share their secrets, and I've had little success infiltrating their strongholds. How did you obtain this? It will take some time to translate and unlock the secrets of this. I will have to move on from the city to evade any Giovanni seeking it. Take this. This will complete the terms we agreed to, and I think it is adequate compensation. It is the key of Alamut. It instills dread in those that would harm you, and makes it harder for them to strike you. Make no mistake, our dealings do not make us allies. If indeed we meet again, do not ask me for any favors. I will give you this final advice, however. Leave this city. These are its final nights. Discord looms heavy. I've felt this before. In November of 1938, I was translating documents in Leipzig, Germany, written by a purported Crusades-era necromancer. There also, I felt a sense of impending chaos. Soon after was the Kristallnacht, the wellspring of a new world war.
Master? Okay. Thank you. 